Um, this this um, is going to be a demonstration on how to do the hair for Mary Saunderson. Okay, so I met these Mary Saunderson, this Mary Saunderson doll, and then I was wondering how to do the hair. So I have given her like a puddle, nearly like a puddle effect hairstyle. Okay, all over this part of the hair. So I knit the cap, I put it on the head. I um, actually covered it with um, strands of, of yarn from the bottom up. Um, I'm not sure even once you do the poodle thing that that is necessary, okay, because you can't see the strands of yarn. Um, so that's probably an unnecessary step. I've knit this top bun piece and I've stitched it on the head. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cover this area with this like poodle effect and this is what I want to demonstrate. I haven't yet decided what I'm going to do with the bun part. I might make a thick plait and wrap it round this part. Um, but at the minute I'm concentrating on this bottom section and I want to make, you know, like this puddle effect. And I've done it in black. It's hard to see, but I've done it in black and I've also um, done it in, um, you know, put the odd bit of purple in there. Okay, so this is how I've done it, right? I'll show you, you might be using the purple yarn because it might be easier for you to see. Okay, so um, I got my purple, there's my purple and my black. Okay, so um, I have some of this deep purple. I'm not putting that much purple into the head. It's mostly black, but I'm adding a wee bit of purple through it. So I cut, I'm, I'm going for about, um, and it's about 30 inches, 24, 30 inches between that, okay, of yarn. And I'm going to do three, um, three lengths of yarn. Okay, so three, three strands of yarn. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so once I get my three strands um, of yarn, all right, so my three strands of yarn, roughly 24 to 30 inches. It's not a... You know, you can do it whatever um, you, you think, really, what, what you need. Um, I'm going to thread these onto a, um, you know, a, a big eyed needle. All right. I've actually lost um, my favourite needle, which is nearly like a disaster. Um, so I haven't found one that I like as well as that one. So I'm still in the hope that that'll turn up. Anyway, um, so I've that threaded into the, oops into the needle all right so that's where i start my three um, strands of yarn threaded into the needle now i'll come round and i'll do a bit um, that i haven't done before so you can see i've got the head this has taken quite a long time i've got the head done all around the front and if you see i've one of the the curls there look and i've, I've actually curled it you know so it gives like a puddly effect all right, Mary Sanderson is the one with the sort of mouth, okay? <laughs> so that's why her mouth stitched like that. And I give her eyebrows, okay? So anyway, um, so I'll go to an empty spot to, to show you how to do this effect. So the first thing I'm going to do is stitch into the head, right? And I'm going to leave, let me see if I can, I'm going to leave, oh, Let's see if I can get this so that you can see it. Um, I'm going to leave roughly an eight inch tail. So that's the, the first step, an eight inch tail. All right. Now, once I do that eight inch tail, it's hard for you to see, you yeah, know. Um, once you do that eight inch, you leave about eight inches. All right. I'm going to do what I would call an anchor stitch. So an anchor stitch is when I stitch into the head, right? And then I stitch through the loop and I'm holding down the, the eight inch tail under my thumb and I'm gonna pull that through and that will anchor that tail, give it a good tug. And if you feel it slipping, you maybe need to do two of those stitches. So you stitch in, so now that tail is pretty secure, all right? Now, once I have that tail done, I'm going to hold the tail, oops, 
See if I've got something I can set this on. It'll help me a wee bit. See, that's a teddy bear on a rocking chair. Right, see if that helps a wee bit. So I'm going to hold the tail upwards. All right, hold the tail upwards. And I'm going to, with the, the other end, I'm going to wrap. I'm going to wrap the yarn round and round the tail and roughly um, 10 wraps, 8 to 10 wraps would be enough. So I'm going to wrap that round the tail. Um, okay, so how many that is, you just keep wrapping up the, up, up the tail, wrap your yarn up. So you can wrap it round doesn't matter which one you're moving, right? So I'll move the, so I'm going to wrap it up the tail, right? So now I've got two ends and I've got my my wrapped, shorter tail is wrapped. The longer piece is on the needle, okay? And then once I let this relax, you'll see what I'm, oh, a bear on a rocking chair is not the easiest thing. To set it on, see whether this is tall enough. No, it's not. Right. Once I let this relax, you'll see that that sort of relaxes down. It causes like a curl. It causes a curl. Right. So once I get that down, I'm going to use. I'm going to hold on to my tail. So I've got my curl, okay, this is my curl. I've got my finger on the the tail part. And, and then I'm going to put a stitch. I'm going to put a stitch over the tail, catching in the tail and catching in the curl. Right. So I'm going to put one of these anchor stitches into it. At this stage, all right. I'll have to maybe demonstrate this um, using an overhead camera as well, um, because it's not working too well. This, so I'll have to try to get the overhead camera going. Um, Once I stitch that in, anchor it well on the bottom, okay, it's been anchored in, all right, I can cut off the short end, um, which is the short end of the, the tail that's left over, it sort of curls in naturally itself, okay, so it gives like a natural curl, and then if I want another one that colour, I can move my needle to a different part of the head just by stitching through the cap and I, I find that I get on 24 inches to 30 inches I roughly get about two curls every time I'm not sure I want to put any more purple into this part of the head so I'm just going to snip it off now if you feel that um, you don't have to snip it too close to the head you can have the um, you can have the tufts you know, you can have the tufts as part of the style, okay, the the um, tufts as part of the style. Um, but if you feel now, oh, I'm not sure whether that curl um, is secure enough, okay, then you can just cut a, a little piece of um, your coloured yarn and you can actually just give it an extra, you know, um, Stitch it over, stitch it over and tie it in a knot and then get rid of the extra ends. So I've just, just to make sure that it stays in secure. So I have stitched this, you know, and just tied it in a knot, stitched it over the top of my, my curl base. 
so that I know it's not going to go anywhere and then I can snip off the, the edges. So that's roughly how it's done. Um, not ideal seeing in purple, but I have ex tried to explain it step by step in the pattern. So um, there's about eight or nine steps. So you um, cut your three lengths of yarn, you 24 to 30 inches, um, you you make, you make leave a long tail, you make an anchor stitch, you wrap your tail with um, the, the end of the yarn that has the needle. Um, once you come up nearly to um, about, well, let me see, about half an inch from the top maybe, um, then you relax your 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 tail in and this will give this sort of poodle effect and then you have to do an anchor stitch over the base of it to make sure that it's not going to um, go anywhere and then if you still feel that you need an extra um, bit of um, security then you can just put a um, piece of wool and tie it okay so it gives actually a very i don't know it gives it i was trying to think of a way to do this hairstyle so that it would give the effect without looking too flat um so it gives a lovely textured hairstyle to this switch um it has taken me quite a long while to do it i have worked from the front round to the back I'm at sort of three quarters of the back now I'm about there so I still have this section to do um, once I get that done I haven't decided yet how I'm going to tackle the bun part I'm thinking probably um, maybe one strand of purple and and a thick plait and a pl thick plait of black and then maybe just wrap it around the head um, attaching it on I'll do another video once I get to that stage um, I hope this has helped a little bit. Okay, um, it's 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 not wasn't an easy process to put down in writing. I've tried my best to put it onto the page as best I can. Um, anyway, this is for the Mary Saunderson's doll, who I think will look lovely when she's finished. I have her um, her boots and her. I was trying to give a check effect on her skirt, but I don't know whether it worked that well. But anyway, I did um, strips of. Um, strips of purple and cream okay she's got her apron with her pockets um she has a quite a busty lady so she's got a brown or a burnt orange um underneath the corset part with bosoms um her her arms are the burnt orange with a um uh, this is like a rolled piece of um, it was it was knit, I think six rows, and folded in half, and then rolled, and then stitched down between the purple and the orange to try to give a sort of a cuff effect. I did a pointy part of the purple coming down the hand. Um, she has this is so far not stitched on. I might um, stitch the point down. I haven't decided yet. And then um, with the open front, so that you can see her um, her her bust and then I have used um, just some cross stitch with a twisted cord to um, go up the front and I might put a few stitches in that.